I hope you all read the homework reading discussing anxiety. I think it was a challenging reading, very heavy going. From that reading, I hope that you understand that there are several schools of thought regarding anxiety as a mental disorder, including the Freudian theorists and the behaviorists. Today, I want to talk about anxiety and give you some examples of anxious behavior. Rather than think about Freud or behaviorists, I want you to ask yourselves this question. Are these behaviors symptoms of a mental disorder or are they simply reactions to everyday living? Let's look at some specific examples. The first one is how you feel when you take an exam. How do you feel on exam day? Do you feel anxious? Nervous? I see many of you nodding your heads yes. Have any of you ever been physically ill before taking an exam? I see a few heads nodding. Do you think your behavior should be considered a mental disorder? No, of course not. I take it from your reaction that you think your emotions are normal. Another good example is my wedding day. I was so anxious, shaking, sick feeling in my stomach. I almost called the whole thing off. Now, if I listen to Freud or other theorists who study anxiety, I would have myself believing that I have an anxiety disorder. Hands up if you think that my emotions were due to a mental disorder. It seems that most of you think that my emotions were the result of a life event and not a mental disorder. What I am saying here is that not every situation in our lives, taking an exam, getting married, that causes feelings of anxiety does so because we have a mental disorder. If, on the other hand, something in our lives causes us to stop functioning, then we can probably call it an anxiety disorder. An example of an abnormal reaction might be if we are scared of leaving our house and refuse to go outside. This type of anxious behavior unequivocally interferes with living. However, feeling nervous on our wedding day or when we write an exam probably does not mean that we have an anxiety disorder.